Hello, uh, my name is Andre Carr. Uh, I'm the author of Rise of the Fae. Um, I just wanted to make this video really quick for other authors who are struggling formatting on their MacBooks or iMacs or whatever you use. Um, because I write in this app called Pages. Uh, this is it right here. Um, it's free uh, if you have a Mac or whatever. Um, and I'm all about that free stuff. So I hope you are too. <laughs> um, this video is going to go over really quickly on how to add page numbers to uh, your book um, and um, how to make it look more professional. Uh, there's a certain way I wanted it. I'm sure that's why you're here because you want your page numbers to be in a certain area and to start when you want them to start and stuff like that. Um, so I hope this helps. I'm going to try my best to make it easy for you. Um, I'm still struggling with it. It took me hours and hours uh, and days to figure out how to do this, but um, I hope it works. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to go into pages. Um, I already have my book open. Um, so this is my book. Um, so I set it up where the chapter is here. Um, and if you notice, there's no page number up here because I didn't want it like that. I just want it to be, bam, you got the chapter starting. And then the page numbers start here. Uh, so that would be page two. And I wanted the title of the book to be here as well. And now if you look over here, we have the chapter title, Affiance, and then you got page three. Um, if we keep going, it continues. Page four, page five, Affiance. And I'm sure this is what you wanted. Um, hopefully, that's why you click on this video. Um, you want your pages to be laid out like a book. So page four would be um, like on the left hand side of your pages, your page numbers would be on the left side. On your right page side, your page numbers would be on the right hand side. Um, I added a little extra stuff here. I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Um, so we're just going to jump into it. So I'm going to go to File, New. Uh, we'll do a blank document. Um, so I'm going to jump right into this. I have text that I had took taken from somebody uh some somebody somewhere on the internet it was just random i just looked up articles uh it's not copyright so please don't get mad at me uh, it's just random stuff i just looked up articles and i just copied everything just for an example um okay so i put title uh copied all this pasted it whatever okay so i want to first start off by laying it out like a book um this will make more sense when you do it like this it's just me so I'm going to go to document and scroll down to facing pages. Uh, when you click that, it's going to lay out like a book. So now it just went all crazy and weird. So I'm going to minimize this. And now you see what I'm talking about. Um, really quick, I'm going to go over here to view page thumbnails. So this is what your book is supposed to be laid out as, you see? Um, so obviously we have the title page and then just like a book that you would hold in your hand, this is the left page, that's the right page, uh, so have you, it keeps going. Um, okay, so I'm going to try really hard to get this right because it's hard to do it, um, for a shot. Okay, so page numbers. So I'm going to skip the first page and we're going to go over here to the third page. So I'm going to click right here on the right hand side. Uh, and this is the header. Um, it says insert page number, which is pretty easy. Uh, we'll click the first one, one. Okay, so now that we did that, you can see there's page numbers on it now. Okay, so here's on the title page one. We got two, three, four, five, blah, 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 so what have you. Um, but obviously it's wrong. Um, I don't like this. I hate it. Um, I'm sure you do too. So we want our pages on the right hand side um, to be on the right page and your page numbers on the left hand side to be on the left side of the top of the page. So what I'm going to do really quick um, is go up to here to section and I want you to click on page three. Okay, so that way it's blinking the cursor. Um, now we're going to click on left and right pages are different. Okay, so now that you did that, you can see that the page numbers disappeared on the left-hand side. 
and they're only on the right hand side now um, which is good like we're almost there um, I know it looks crazy but um, okay so now you did that um, we're gonna go to the left side of the page and go up to the header and click on the very left side and insert page number and then we'll do the same thing one all right so it was pretty simple um i wish it was that easy for me when i first started <laughs> so you guys are lucky um so now you see we have the title of the chapter let's just say and we got page one and it just goes like a book uh, page two page three page four five and so on this is how a book should be laid out my personal preference uh, I'm gonna do something now this is what I like for me personally you don't have to do this um so we have the title of your chapter here and there's a page number um I don't like it uh it's just me I just want there to be the title of the chapter bam um and then the pages will continue after that so now that we did that I'm gonna click up here and there's a button over here under sections under document called hide on first page of section so we'll just click that and now the page number deleted but the numbers continue correctly throughout your document so so it's blank up here but this is obviously page one now you go on page two page three and so on so it just keeps going so now you guys had saw on my uh, document here on my actual book uh, I have the title of the book and I have the title of the chapter so we're gonna do the exact same thing um, so now we have this okay say you want your title over here just like mine so we'll click in the middle and just for fun I'll just put my book rise of the day and then I'll click out of it okay so now that you have all this checked, you can see here, Rise of the Fate is only gonna be on the left-hand side for the entire document. You're not gonna see it on the right-hand side because we have left and right pages are different. So now that's cool, uh, we got Rise of the Fate. Um, okay, so now, just like my book, uh, let me put a one here so that way we know. Um, say you want the title of the chapter to be up here. Um, so it says title one. Um, we'll just type it in here. Title one. And then click out of it. Um, so just like before, it's not going to show up on the title of your chapter, um, but it's going to go on throughout the rest of the document. So Rise of the Fae, title one. Your pages are coinciding. It looks legitimate. It doesn't look all choppy and crazy. Um, so now that we did that, um, this is where you're going to have issues. I had issues. I'm going to hope that I can replicate this for you guys. All right. So say we're going to be starting a chapter. I'm going to enter a couple times. Okay. So with pages, it's really weird. I don't know why page breaks don't work uh, for some reason. Um, when you start a new chapter and you want your pages to be correct. But I'm going to go over to section break bam okay so now that we have that we have a whole new section um for your next uh chapter um so with that on we're going to go to insert again and click section so you have a section break and your new section so i'm going to paste again the entire thing that we wrote or whatever um, okay, so we'll pick title two, and just like before, you have it hidden on the first page of section. So now your header isn't going to show up on your chapter two or title two uh, section or whatever. Um, so you have page fourteen. This is blank. You know it's fifteen. You have to know, and then it continues sixteen, seventeen, and so on. However, this is where you're going to run into trouble. So you have title two, but it's a totally different title. It's not title one anymore. Now I click the cursor on there and you can see it's a title one. It's blinking. But look up here. It's doing it on every single one. 
and you don't want that. You want this to stay Title One, and you want this to be Title Two because you're in, you know, Title Two, Chapter Two, whatever. So what you want to do is really important. You need to click this button here, match previous section. You don't want that on. It needs to be like off. Okay. So now anything you do in this section will be only in this section. So title one, if you scroll up, the cursor isn't blinking up here anymore because it's an entirely new section. So we're going to delete this, hit two, click out of it. Okay. So now you have, let's scroll away at the top so you can see again, title one. Uh, it's clear, nothing's going on. Um, you got your page numbers correct. Uh, page two, rise of the bay, and page three, title one. And it goes through the entire thing up to title two here. So now it's blank. We don't have a header, we don't have numbers. But the page numbers are continuing correctly. This would be page 14, page 15, now page 16. You still have the title of your book up here. You do have the new title of your next chapter, which is title 2, and the page number. And um, it'll just keep going like that. So anytime you're ready for your next chapter and you want to keep things easy, <laughs> just insert section break, and then insert section, and then you can put your text or whatever it is, and that way it'll start over, so I'll say title 3 now, just to show you guys again, so page 28, this will be 29, and this is 30. Now remember when you're doing it, you do still have this match previous section off, but you have to remember to change this because as you continue to write, your titles are going to change, obviously. So we got to change that to title three and then go back up, make sure that it was right. So yeah, title two, now we're in title three, which is your chapter three, and it matches. And it kind of just keeps going. Uh, I'll do it one more time for you guys, just so you kind of know. Okay, so we're starting a new chapter. Uh, so insert section break and then insert section and then we'll put all of our text or what have you scroll back up this will be chapter four or title four and then change this to four because you're on a new chapter and okay all right, I hope this helps. Um, I had a lot of issues with this uh, when I was writing, but now I finally figured it out. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. Again, this was done on the app Pages. Um, if you're writing in Pages um, and you have a Mac or what have you. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you. Uh, thank you. <laughs>